tractor! Alright, you're doing an amazing job driving it. Yeah. Just keep it, remember, keep your tire on the edge of the dirt. to what we need to do to get this thing going. Uh, let's get some rototilling done and start getting the fields prepped. We need to get the field prep that has our garden that's gonna go into it. We need to get our sunflower field prepped and we need to get our wildflower field prepped. You ready? All right, should we help and test it out on grandma's garden first? All right, let's do it. All right, not too bad for the first uh, attempt at it. Still getting used to the tractor. I've never been in a New Holland. Um, but the rototiller is doing a fantastic job. Just did a test run here on uh, my mother's and father's, one of their gardens uh, that our neighbor had done not too long ago. So did pretty well. Let's get out to the uh, sunflower field and get that going. Building a farm, my man. We're building a farm. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be yours someday too if you want it, all right? Yeah. But if you don't want it, it's okay. You don't have to do it just because we're saying that, okay? But if you do want it, it could be yours, okay? Okay. You're doing an amazing job driving it. Yeah. Just keep it, remember, keep your tire on the edge of the dirt. Got a haircut, uh, but we've been going at this field for about oof, roughly two hours. And I'd say it's about three quarters of the way done. Uh, stopped to get a haircut, get the little man lunch, and then uh, I'm gonna throw some diesel in here now just to see how much we've used. We don't have our uh, our tanks like we used to when we, um, or I shouldn't say my parents and grandparents used to when it was a fully operational farm. So <clears throat> can't bring this back empty. So we'll see how much it uh, takes right now, and. Um, yeah, get back and finish this field and go on to the next one. Man, that's not a very easy handle. Uh, yeah, that's really a pain. Yes, yes, can. And I'm literally filled with diesel now. Awesome. Thanks. Ooh, federal gas can regulator guy or gal. You know what? Why didn't I uh not just do this from the get-go? I feel like I'm learning some pretty valuable lessons here that I should already know, but it has been quite a while since I played farmer, or at least helped on the farm. Now, I'm, I'm trying to classify, classify myself as a farmer. First off, um, five gallons of diesel does not last very long in a tractor when you're rototilling, so having only one five gallon container makes it uh, pretty difficult to keep the tractor full that I have to return full, right? So I'm headed to the store right now to get more diesel, which is probably gonna be about a 20 minute waste of time because I only have one five gallon container. Uh, another thing, I'm looking at a pair of gloves right next to me on the seat of the truck that I could have been wearing when I'm filling this thing up with diesel because I have diesel all over my hands, which is due to me not using the container properly. Third, I need a funnel. Um, what else? Overall, 
I need a tractor and a diesel tank again, amongst a lot of other things. But I'm not complaining. This is part of the journey. I'm having a lot of fun documenting it, sharing it. But yeah, just it's the little things that you don't think about that you're missing until you realize you need them, which I guess is like a lot of things in life. But yeah, pretty fun so far. About four and a half hours in, I did it. Um, better stop here a second. I did not take some footage of the field where we're going to have our garden and raised beds and peppers and stuff. So I'll take a, uh, a shot of that when we get back here. But yeah, head to the store, get some diesel. Boom. Hey, I just found another five gallon diesel container that I can take with me. Want to know how I found that five gallon diesel container? I found it when I realized I didn't have my wallet on me and I had to drive all the way back out to the farm because I left it in the barn for some reason. <sighs> but hey, I'm headed back to the store here in a second to get diesel, but at least this time it'll be 10 gallons of diesel. Hey, look, it's the tractor in the field doing nothing. Yeah. All right, just playing around. I'd, I love being efficient with time. I hate wasting time. Uh, what I do for my day job involves efficiency and performance, etc. And right now, <clears throat> I would say my performance for the day on a, out of 100% is about 65, which isn't very good. All right, back to the store. Here we go. Come on. Back at it. Back to not being on public road. I'm back to the bringing it real, giving it real type stuff. Uh, probably should cover what did it cost to do this today, right? I believe that I'm rototilling roughly five acres. I'll measure it out too after this and see how much it actually is, but let's just call it, I'm, I'm rototilling five acres. Well, the cost to rent the tractor was 300 bucks. I don't know if that's a little or a lot, but I believe it's a it's a pretty fair price considering the gentleman that rents it to me uh, is a, also a blueberry farmer. He lives right down the road. A, he's letting me do it. B, I can drive there. I don't have to trailer it. I can drive the tractor back. All good there. So 300 bucks. Thank you, who if you watch us, for renting it to me. You've helped us tremendously. I will be in debt to you for a while. Apart from that, so 300 for the tractor. The diesel gas can that we did not have, or at least did not think we had, was $20. So now we're at $320. I bought $20 worth of diesel last night before coming here. So now we're at $340. I just got 10 more gallons. So now we're at $380. And my kid was out here with me for a little while. Uh, we did not plan for dinner or lunch ahead of time. I didn't bring any. So that was another 20 So I'm at $400 bucks right now. $400 in straight cash. It's a road to till. So about a hundred and you know, 120 an acre is where we're at. Um, is that a little, is that a lot? Tell me, what do you think? 120 an acre. Uh, that's not including the time. I, I don't believe I could have paid somebody for less than 500 bucks or what I would say, 400 bucks. Yeah. Give 400 bucks to road to till this. So let me know what you think. 400 decent deal. Not a decent deal. We have a dilemma, uh, beautiful wife who is behind the camera. So we need your input. We don't have very much longer before we have to have the tractor back, but we know that we want to plant wildflowers. The amount of seeds that we have left to plant wildflowers is about 1200 square feet. So what are your thoughts? We have two options. We can do, but follow me over here. This is roughly 300 feet, okay? The width of the rototiller is one, two, about six feet. So if we did, we could just about spread our wild seeds to be the width of the rototiller all the way down to the end of the field. So how do you feel about doing that right here in this field? Or do you want to do it over there? So two ways of looking at it. I kind of like it right here because it'll be by what our raised beds and all of our other stuff. Yeah. Or we can do a smaller 
hatch right here. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts? Either all the way down or the smaller patch here. How about all the way down? Okay. Are you, good. Sure? are you sure? Let's think about it. <laughs> we don't have time to think about it. I like the small patch, personally, but I'm not opposed to it being down the length. Okay, so when we come back and plant tomorrow, we'll just, we'll measure it out. We'll use string and post. So to get it ready, I'll do one more pass here and then one more pass probably on these two because this is pretty rough. Okay. And we need to hook up the hose and spray it off, try to get it clean. And then I need a brush or something to clean the inside. So while I'm finishing these two, can you go hook up the hose at the house yes. and then drag it to the front? Um, the yeah, front, we'll go. Like in the driveway? Yeah, I think, because I don't think that green one's going to be long enough to go all the way down to their garden. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll try it. All right, let's do it. We talked off camera. What did we come up with? We're going to go down the length. We're going to go down the length? All right, let's go down the length. Cool. Keep spraying. You got that? Wow, it got so dusty in here. I think there's a crappy broom in the back of the dance. Dad, the whole floor will go any farther. What? That's not very good. Here. Dad, it will go any farther. Oh, it's kinked. I can see the kink right there. Can you go and kink it? Okay, Me? I'll go and kink it. I'm ready. I just unkinked it. I'm just not on the Yell when it starts spraying water. Okay. It's Spring water. Yeah. Alright. Let Daddy take a shot. Because I can make it go spray a little harder with my finger. What did you think? Did we get. We didn't quite get everything we wanted done, did we? Yeah. We got a late start. Haircut didn't help. Well, I'm glad we got a haircut, right? You were yeah. not be disappointed about that. But. Our next one's scheduled for the weekday. <laughs> <laughs> Show to show. What do we need? We need a tractor. Yeah. Ah, I didn't get what. Oh, if this stuff was already there. Some of it looks really caked on there. What's that? Some of it looks really caked on there. Like, I'll stick it with some up, right? No, but just get as much as you can. It's a nice gesture. Well, bring it back better than we got it, right? Or at least try. Yeah. Should I do it now? Yes, so I'm going to scrub. Here, grab it, don't spray me though. I'm going to scrub down here. And you spray that, okay? You mm -hmm. don't need to help you do the first spray. Yeah. Here, buddy. May I? Buddy? Can I help Dad with the hard spray? Okay. <laughs> He's like, ah, not going to happen, Mommy. He's not even acknowledging me. <laughs> <laughs> not going to happen, Mommy. Straight up my first. You what? can say no, I prefer to do it. Some acknowledgement is nice, okay? 
Alright, can you hang on to that a second? <laughs> Alright, let me give it some high pressure. Ooh, what's that? Oh, and you're nice. Oh, you just a little bit. Crap. I got that wet, didn't I? Grandma's garden, but we are out of time. We didn't even get to finish ours, right? Yeah. Sorry, Grandma. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use the hose. Yeah, it looks good, guys. Got all the stuff caked on all here. Got it all removed. Looks great. Ah! I'm gonna have to get away. Alright, could you run and turn the okay? Hi You hear that? You hear nothing, right? Yeah. Hey, stop. Lead the way, little man. Grandma told me this way, I ate a shortcut. This is a shortcut to Grandma's garden? Yeah. It's so far away. We gotta get this thing back and, uh, dropped off, and then come back and finish uh, putting everything else away. You want to come with me? Yeah. All right. So he's going to come with me. We're going to get that dropped off. Beautiful wife, thank you for all the help today. Uh, next, coming up, we got to rake all the, the berms. We got to smooth everything out and uh, plant our wildflowers before, uh, yeah, plant our wildflowers. That's the next thing we got on. So as always, like, share, subscribe, and uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Thank you again.